set them down. And if they wiggle or wobble too much, then they're bulged and you want to throw them away. Okay. But also, if this plastic comes off, like if, if this little casing around here comes off, you want to get rid of them. Because then okay. they're dangerous. But okay. Aside from that, you just have to be careful when you're putting them in the charger and taking them out. You don't want to just yank them out like that. Okay. Well, All right. That's really it. Okay. And you want to carry them in the case, not in your pocket. Because if they come in contact with a couple of metal things in the purse. Oof. Oof. And this thing's very leaky, so. Yeah, this is, this is gross. Blech. I'll take this whole thing apart and clean it out. And I have juice all over my hands now. So the little thing in there is the contact, and that needs to be clean, as does this little spot here. Which one? The, the little spot in the center. Okay. Those are the contacts that actually connect. So both okay. of those need to be clean. Okay. But they don't get dirty very easy. And you just clean it with a paper towel? You don't use water or anything? You can use water. You can... Actually, this thing's completely waterproof. You can oh. take it in the shower with you. Oh, Jesus. But doesn't usually need anything. If it ever gets grimy or gunked in here, you can just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and it'll take all it'll that perfect. right out. Okay. And you can see it's shiny now. Okay. Nice and shiny. Make sure there's no more juice on this. Vape tutorial by Paul. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, you're so sweet. Take a little rubber band off of here. We're just going to take it all the way apart. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, that comes off too sometimes. Oh, it smells good. <gasps> that just pulls right out. Oh my god. And then, that's about it. And none of this stuff's big enough to go down the drain. It's not? No. Oh, okay. I got scared. I've done it on that side of the sink before. It's not fun. You're just, <laughs> you're just rinsing everything out in the water? Yeah. A little bit of warm water. And, uh, warm water. As soon as, as soon as I can get a decent grip on it, I'm going to try and get this glass off of here. It seals with this O-ring around here pretty tightly. Make sure I'm doing it correctly. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oh, the O-ring came off with it. That's fine. Looks like a cock ring. Teeny, Pretty much. Teeny tiny one. Teeny tiny cock ring. <laughs> uh, it's not so hard to take apart when it hasn't been so long, but this thing's been together for a long time. Oh, I see. And that little O-ring came out of this ridge here, so we'll just have to remember to put that back. Okay. And then there's another one here, and another skinny one here. And sometimes they wear out. You have to replace them, but these are the original ones that have been in this since we got it. They're fine. Let's get all the juice out of the sink. Hey, come. Ah! Come back here, O-ring. Not getting away that easy. Oh my god, be careful. That's clean. This can go over here. That's clean. This doesn't normally come off, but sometimes it pops off. So many parts. Uh, 
this thing's a pain in the butt to get dry because you gotta you gotta really get all the water out of it. Okay. When we worked in the laboratory, we used alcohol to just vaporize all the water out of it. But at home, you just have to stuff paper towels in there and hope. For... I was about to wash the coil. <laughs> <laughs> so you just threw that away. Yeah. Yeah, once they're bad, you just throw them away. I just want to make sure to get all the gunk that gets up and underneath these little lips and things. And... Okay. It's actually pretty clean. Now I just have to dry everything and put it back together. Okay. So we just have to wait for it to dry, or are you going to dry them? I'm just going to dry it. Okay. Helps if my hands are dry. We were spoiled when we worked at the laboratory because we had a pure laboratory ethanol, oh. which evaporates, I mean, instantly. Oh my God. So as soon as you spray something, we would then take the uh, the air compressor that we had nearby and we'd blast it with compressed air oh. and now it's clean and dry. We could do this stuff in like seconds. That's amazing. And anywhere where there's like a little hole like this, you just want to stuff the paper towel in there and... Make sure you get all the okay. all the gunk yeah. out. You see a little bit there on the paper towel. Yeah. Anywhere where you see any sort of discoloration on the metal or anything like that. Just make sure to get the paper towel in there. Oh, we got another super tiny O-ring right in here. Oh my goodness. So that's something to watch for to make sure it stays in place. Hmm. It probably won't come out. We have to stuff the paper towel down through here. Since this is what you're sucking vape through. Mm-hmm. That part's clean. This little ring's easy to clean. All this little ring does is fit around the top and turn so that you can adjust the amount of airflow, but I've always kept it all the way open. Mm-hmm. Because the thing's air-cooled, so you want as much air as you can get through it. Your coils will last forever. O ring doesn't look that healthy, but I think it'll be fine. The nicotine turns it that color. Uh huh. That's dry. I'm just pressing the paper towel up inside to make sure uh -huh. I get up and under this little lip here. Since this is the metal contact and that's the contact that touches the coil, it's important this part's dry. Okay. I guess that's clean enough. I'm in glass, we don't want to vape water, so getting the glass dry is kind of difficult. Tell if it's fingerprints or water vapor. I think it's just fingerprints. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's a good thing they make that out of something strong. <laughs> and then this part's the paint of the butt to dry. Uh. But I'm just going to shove paper towels in and pull them out of anywhere that it can go. 
This is also one of the best ways, like when it starts to make that spitting sort of gurgling noise and it uh, spits juice at you. Just twist a paper towel like this, shove it down the center, and twist around a couple of times. Oh, okay. And you can do that without even taking the vape apart. Okay. Oh, I got some shit there. Get some goop. Cram it in there, twist it around. This is a particularly hard tank to clean. Most of them don't have this much inside uh -huh. surface area that you have to get at. See all the little crevices that water sits. Yeah. You're so cute. You're cute. Okay, that seems to be dry. Let's go up the back side. Can I upload this to YouTube? Sure, if you want. Thank you. Oops, okay. The last o ring is coming off in my hand, so we'll, <laughs> we'll just sit that there and wipe that too. <laughs> Normally these o rings don't come off and you don't have to take them off. This thing hasn't been apart in a long time though. So these two little slits here are where it pulls air in. And sometimes mm -hmm. if it's getting all spitty and shitty on you, you can. Spitty and shitty. Stick a paper towel in there. And... Okay. Mm -mm. Where's that? Okay. I think that's about it for everything I can reach. Oh, okay. You can go down through those a little bit. I think that's a I think that's good enough. Okay. Let's put it back together. Okay, the super skinny o-ring goes at the top. Now, if you're ever confused about the top or the bottom, it's got some, like, text on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put this one back around here. That seems to be fine. I'll put this one back around uh, here. This ASMR. There we go. Um, 
make sure this stuff's actually dry. Yeah, okay. Uh, now we need our coil. Now when you go to the vape store to buy coils, I honestly don't know which one to tell you to get, because I don't remember what they call these. Okay. But, if you... Okay, so it's a Geek Vape B series. So you're using the B series. And if they ask you what tank you have, you have the Geek Vape Nano 2. Okay. But if you hold it up and go, ah, they'll go, okay, it takes these. Right, okay. Which is what I've done many times. And usually, I like to get a coil. This one is 15 to 25 watts. I like a coil that doesn't use a lot of power because then... Your batteries last a lot longer. Also, the impedance, you see the little impedance symbol that looks like a uh -huh. upside-down U, uh -huh. is 0. 0.6 of an ohm. Oh, okay. But, um, let's go ahead and wet the coil a little bit. Okay. You don't have to do this step, but if you're fiending for nicotine, this saves you a couple of minutes. Just put a drop anywhere where you see white cotton. It's hard to do without making a mess. There we go. I'll just let it drink it. And rotate oh. it and give it a drop. Oh. And it'll drink it right up. So what this thing, how this thing works is it literally short circuits the battery through the metal body of this, which is called the coil. And uh, this cotton pulls the juice from the tank in here and you can see inside there there's a little bit of a stainless steel mesh inside there uh -huh. that little wire mesh that it. reaches very high temperatures very quickly i put a little drop in there too okay and i think this one just slides in nice yeah just slides in doesn't twist or turn any no Uh, yeah, okay. That's as far as it goes in. Okay. This one just slides in. Right on. And then this is the contact, this gold spot here. So it connects to that, to uh -huh. that, to the top of that. Gently. Hmm. Okay, the top of a ring's in place. I think the bottom of a ring's in place. Seems to be squished in there pretty tight. Okay. And this little ring just goes over this. Oh. Uh, Geek vape up. Hmm. Well, I think it just goes on like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. From the bottom of the tank, screws right in. And you want to twist it until it's tight, but not super tight, because sometimes it'll weld itself together. Ugh. And you gotta break out the tools. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on here. Make sure this thing, yeah, this thing's off. There's no battery in it. Okay. The only reason I'm putting it on there is because it stands up by itself so you can fill it. Mm, put some juice in there. Where the juice? 
Oh, through those little holes. Yeah. Okay. The juice goes through these little holes. Don't put it down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a really shitty hit. Oh, bleh. I'll put that little piece back on. And you remember how this piece comes off. You just kind of push in gently and it twists yeah. and make it a mess now. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm gonna put our little plastic, or our little horribly stained nicotine rubber band that they don't make anymore back on there. Okay. They sold out of these during COVID and I can't get them anywhere. No way. At any fucking vape store. Huh. That works so well, though. And this is the old tank. All this thing needs is coils, I think, and some reassembly and deep cleaning. But we'll worry about that one another time. Okay. It's a much better tank, really, but... This one seems to be a lot more leak resistant. So let's put a battery in. This thing, of course, you remember how it comes yeah. off. Yeah. You just have to make sure not to cross-thread it. Yeah. Ew. It is dusty in here. <laughs> Meh, good enough. Let's put battery in it. And, you, I mean, it doesn't matter if you put the battery in backwards, it just won't work. Okay. But the right way to put it, like, that's yeah. the... The little button the... goes in first, and then the... Okay. Flat side. I'm so excited. And this actually should screw in until it's nice and flush. Yes. And that's it. Let's turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Power's on. It doesn't recognize that it's been redone yet, so we'll unscrew it, screw it back in. Now it says new coil, old coil. Push the plus for new coil. When it says plus or minus on the screen, plus is the up button, minus is the down. Okay. Um, as far as modes go, if you accidentally push this three uh -huh. times, it goes into some sort of mode where it goes through all these different operating modes. Uh -huh. And you just want it on power where it says watts here near uh -huh. the battery. Okay. And then you just don't touch any buttons for a couple of seconds and it goes out of that mode. But that's the only thing that it'll do sometimes weird, like if you accidentally hit the button three times, oh, okay. it'll go into the, the menu select. And... <coughs> yeah. Uh, let's <clears throat> see. It's 15 to 25 watts, so we'll go down to 15. We're going to let it sit there for a second. And then, and then it's ready? Yep. It should pretty much be ready any second. Because we primed the coil by putting those couple of drops of juice on it. Oh, yeah. And now it's been sitting in the juice for a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and try. <laughs> Paper towel down the middle. <laughs> this one's a little damp, but it'll be fine. You also stick a Q-tip down the middle. A twisted oh, okay. paper towel works best. I don't know why. Oof. There we go. Let's go up to 20. Perfect. Yay! Thank you. And we've got three more coils in here. And a whole nother tank, if you want to get the uh, the coils for that tank, you just take the tank to them and go, uh, Cerberus tank, Geek Vape coil. Okay. And this one also takes a couple of other brands, too. But cool. For the most part, since it's Geek Vape, you just buy Geek Vape stuff and you don't have to worry. Awesome. And juice, when you go to get juice, this is 6 milligram. 6 meg is what they typically uh -huh. call it. Good. And it's 70-30, which is 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% glycerin, propylene glycol. Um, most of the juice that you're going to see is 70-30 is base. And they call this um, free base nicotine. So when you go in the store and 
You're like, you know, the douchebag behind the counter is like, what can I get you today? And you're like, I'm just looking for some juice. And they're like, uh, salt or free base? Free base. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And they do make, um, they make three milligram, which is obviously half the nicotine of this. And then they make, a couple of companies make like a 1.5, but most people go from three down to zero. But yeah, it's the easiest way to quit smoking. So whenever you find yourself not vaping as much, or vaping a little less, or not really requiring as much nicotine, uh -huh. definitely step down to the three milligram. Okay. And then from that, usually you can just quit or Sweet. keep vaping. Won't hurt you anyway, really. <laughs> 